this is a situation where the perpetrator is in the wrong, the victim isn't, and they shouldn't feel ashamed that they, they were scammed. These are very well uh, devised scams. Law enforcement is investigating after three sexual extortion scams targeted students on the U of I campus in the last nine days. Now police are looking for answers. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Detectives don't believe these crimes are related, but that doesn't take away from the severity of each case. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is live at the U of I Police Department. Amanda, explain what happened. In the most recent situations, police say a student was talking to somebody they were unfamiliar with online when things escalated. Inappropriate photos were shared and then the scammers demanded money when threatening to send those pictures to others. I sat down with a lieutenant with the University of Illinois Police Department today and he says some of these scammers are oftentimes from places around the world and that can make it trickier to investigate. Sometimes it can take months to find the suspects. Sometimes they'll be asking for a large amount of money and then decrease the price. Other times it's flipped around. He says these trends are pretty typical for the start of the school year. There's usually a wave of scams as classes are getting underway. I don't really know the, ca the cause of that, whether it's just people are uh, new to the area or maybe they're new to being out on their own and they're being approached and think, you know, maybe they don't have the level of caution that they think they, that I think maybe they should. Um, and that makes them susceptible targets. He says these incidents have a big impact on students. Sometimes they're scammed out of thousands of dollars and feel embarrassed. Now, there are many red flags that you can look out for. The lieutenant suggests switching your social media profiles to the private setting. That way, scammers are less likely to find out more personal information. We've got more tips and things to know from the U of I Police Department linked on our website. For now, reporting live in Urbana, I'm Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Amanda. Thank you so much.